Alrighty guys, this is uh, another 757. Oh, I just don't like, I mean it's got to come in from a straight 90, then has to swoop up. I just don't like how, how this is done. I don't actually even understand why they why they did that but uh, now again this is just how I do things I don't know if it's right or not but uh, I'm gonna cut down each side of this wall like I did on my other one and then I'll probably take my handheld belt sander and bring this wall down to here and then where I've got it shaped out here in black I'm going to carve out these transfers and make a new route I want to feed these straight up you know as much as I can instead of having to go through the side here it's just how I want to just how I want to do it so uh, I'm gonna get started on that all right guys I got this lower pretty much uh, took it out to where I wanted. I mean, I still got a chamfer and all that, but uh, th this wall's took down. But you can see here, uh, you know, how hard that had to get, a, you know, had to go up through the piston to get around and get in there. Uh, now it can still flow through the piston and come up uh, real easy. I still got a do the uppers but now I'm gonna work on uh, graining this out uh, on these 757s this seems to be the longest the longest part it's absolutely horrible to do but uh, I, I'll get it got the base cut I had to do a tremendous amount of lower transfer work I got the uppers squared off yet I'm not done with them I still got to go in there with my 90 and clean them up yet uh, I got the epoxy in and I got the intake set where I want it. I still got to shape the port the way I want it yet. Uh, I had to cut this as well uh, so it wouldn't hit. And I'm working on the exhaust right now. I got it to the height I want. Well, almost to the height. I'm actually just a little shy where I want it because uh, I got to sand it up and polish it up and stuff. And I'll, it'll take some out when I do that. But I wanted to show you. See how the. the factory ports more squared see how I'm rounding it I'm going in there and trying to make it a nice straight shot out from where I widened it so I gotta do this side yet and then uh, I gotta build the template for this so I can start on the the flange so I just thought I'd give you a uh, update the pistons all flowed in as well so yep I'm getting there alrighty this is that low back 757 shin that I've been working on I mean it's grubby but there was no sense in me washing it uh, I packed clay in here so I could match the case to my uh, port work port works all done You see the JB weld in there. So uh, I'm 80 on the intake and uh, 98 on the exhaust now. Gained it just a little bit more blowdown. And then I kind of changed the. I didn't really raise them any. Well, I raised one part of them because they were sloped. I kind of squared them off to the to the piston. So uh, and I cut the base. So there's the port work on that. I gotta get I gotta make a template yet before I get too much further so I can start on the exhaust. I gotta build a flange and uh exhaust and all that for it yet. But uh I think I'm gonna call it a night on it uh tonight, uh and then get back on it tomorrow. I gotta wash it all, but uh I didn't quite cut the case all the way out like I did on the other one. I, I just blended it in and I was trying to keep maybe a little tighter 
tighter volume on this one. See if that makes a difference or not. But uh, this this should have just a smidgen snappier throttle response, I would think, uh, than my other one. Because uh, this one I got the intake where I wanted it. The other one's a little... Uh, this was what I was contemplating about doing with the JB Weld on my other one. And if it makes that much of a big difference, I might go back into my other one and do that when I get time. But uh, here's the piston. It's all flowed in. I gotta clean it up yet. There's some carbon on it. But uh, getting there. This is cleaned up uh, and ready to assemble. I gotta I gotta lube it up yet, but it's it turned out pretty good. There's the port work. I've got the flange made. That, that takes time to make. Uh, so now I can go ahead and put this together. And while the goop's setting up, I can be working on building the pipe for it. So, yep, I'm gonna get started on that. Alrighty, it is together. It, uh, has really good compression. Uh, got the pipe all made. So I'm going to put that on. guys it's running out the cleanup shop to sharpen up the chain see if I can get a test cut bit of it <laughs> 